This is for us. This is going to be a three card uh, oracle and then with a dyadic cross finish for each one. So three cards, you get to pick one, two or three or all of them if you want to. Hope you like the video. If you do, please do like it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead, subscribe. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. You know, it just seems like we haven't dedicated enough time to ourselves. It's just time for everybody else, but never enough time for us. So let's take a deep breath and uh, think about a couple things that maybe you want to address with the cards, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so this is the Connolly Tarot by Peter Paul Connolly and Eileen Connolly. And this is, this is actually a son and a mother who did these cards, but these are very nice cards to use. I love them a lot. And uh, so the Connollys, um, as a matter of fact, the mother's a PhD and is into parapsychology and all sort of things, uh, spiritual. Um, and then, so she kind of conceived of this thing Then she got her son, uh, who was born in 1964, but I guess by then he was a teenager, but she got him to design the cards and uh, he's an artist today. So that's Peter Paul Collins. So, so these are pretty interesting cards. I love them. Let me show you how they look. They've just got so much color in them. Apparently he uh, sketched these out with colored pencils uh, before they became finished works of art. And I guess they're hanging in galleries somewhere on the West Coast, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So there you go. So these are beautiful. I love these cards. I mean, they're everything uh, you want to see in a typical, easy to read uh, tarot card. And I put them out like this so that you can take a look at them too. You know, everybody likes to see something different. And uh, maybe you haven't seen these cards laid out like that before. But um, that's those folks, the Connollys. Okay, so we'll jump right into it. This is a three-card oracle. So three cards. You can pick one, two, or three. Or oops, several, or all. And uh, just think of something. But right now, take a, take a deep breath. And then let it out slowly. And then just... Give yourself this few minutes, you know, to just uh, disengage from everything else and just think about uh, what it is that you want to um, address with these cards. So, yeah, we'll spread them out and take three cards. One, two, and three. Right there. Put these away for now. And then remember, these three cards, you can take your time. We've got one, two, and three. You can stop the tape if you need to, to make a choice. One, two, three. Uh, just clear your mind. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then we'll reveal them one at a time. And this will be the signifier for the uh, eventual dyadic cross. But if you chose number one, then uh, this card is the seven of wands. And the seven of wands is uh, looking at at some issues that you're going to have to overcome. And you've got a plan in hand to do it. You're just kind of um, uh, reviewing the situation. Uh, it's at a point now where you can do that, and there may be several issues, but that's the signifier of that. So I would say this is a this is a yes card. This is a card of hope, of optimism, of challenge. And whenever we get our challenge, we grow. So uh, yeah, so that's a yes card. If you chose number two, then this is the sun. And there's everything good about the sun. I mean, this is uh, obviously bringing light into the to the ob subject. Uh, it's a lot of power. It's uh, really being the center of attention and flooded with knowledge and knowing. And, and this is the one of the best yes card you can get almost. So if you chose number two, that's the sun. That's a big yes. Now, if you chose number three, okay, this is the lovers. So this speaks to us of, and this is the major arcana. This is number six of the major arcana. So, you know, we're on the journey. And we found the perfect 
uh, combination uh, to uh, help us get through. So it could be actual uh, love. It could be just a partnership. It could be some uh, meaningful reconnection. But uh, it's almost destined uh, to, to happen. And also, this is a big yes card. So one, two, and three. And we'll turn these over and just uh, think about this number one choice. If that was yours, the seven of wands. You know, wands are action, motion, fire, planning, getting things done. Okay. And so bring your question to the front of your mind. And then uh, consider what the options might be for you. And we'll see if we can help you make that choice with five more cards. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. Put these away. Signifiers that seven of wands, you know, kind of uh, the beginning of a battle, getting ready to uh, deal with these uh, obstacles and issue these other plans. The challenge to that is the three of swords. Three of swords is typically a broken heart, you know, three swords go through a heart. But these uh, three, so three swords certainly, uh, you know, verify that you know, this is a challenge. This is a serious um, uh, situation that we're into. This is a, a not something to be taken lightly. And uh, sometimes you have to face the hurt uh, to grow from it. The uh, bottom of this reading then is the 10 of swords and the ten of swords is really feeling just stabbed in the back okay that something has happened that's just really put us in a position that we never wanted to be in really restricted very restrained it's a dark place and um, but you do uh, have your aura to protect you always throughout these things and so that was the base of this reading so this decision was not a frivolous one in the past of this reading is the two of cups and the two of cups is uh, again partnerships uh, so and uh, so these two have found a union. They found some sort of an emotional, compassionate um, uh, bond, some sort of a sense uh, that uh, brings them together on this issue and take them right down uh, through this portal into something, uh, something else, something other. OK, so this is uh, the past. So that's where this came from. And then in the sky of this reading, we've got transition. This is typically depicted as death. It's number 13 in the Major Arcana. This is a, a cooler, uh, a lighter uh, deck. So here they've referred to it as transition. It's not very graphic. But it's clear that someone's going from one realm into another realm. They're being welcomed with a bowl of compassion by this little cherub. And it, there's bright and, uh, and promising uh, things, whereas uh, it was dimly lit in the past. So the sky of this reading is to go ahead and get through that transition right here. Okay. So far, so good. <clears throat> and then the um, final outcome is going to be this four of cups. You know, again, cups are emotion, compassion, uh, pa uh, passionate feelings. And uh, this um, person here, typically this is displayed as if someone's being offered something they don't want. But, you know, this almost looks like it's being looked forward to. So we have a... Uh, 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 a genuine offering of some sort of compassion that looks like that's what's going to be the outcome of this. So just to recap again, if number um, one was the one that you chose, we got the seven of wands preparing for some sort of obstacles. It can be very uh, deeply felt. This decision has to be made. It all started from some sort of a betrayal, perhaps. And uh, we had um, unions in our past, past that typically will carry us through something. But unfortunately, up here we have transition, uh, which is a number. So that's leaving one realm to go into another with a likely outcome of being offered some sort of a compassionate finish to this. And uh, and that's already having had, already having lots of emotion and compassion already, and then just one more on top. So that's a good uh, ending to a difficult, uh, probably, situation. And that was number one, if that's what you chose. <clears throat> now, if number two is your card, that's the sun. You know, the sun is really, literally, uh, shining a light on the subject, you know, bringing it into full view. So either get, getting full credit for something that's well deserved, or bringing an issue to the front that is uh, an important uh, situation, maybe in a, maybe even a life point. Uh, so the sun is just a major place, and look, it's almost near the end of the major arcana as, as number nineteen. So the sun is indeed a very good uh, signifier card to get. Okay, let's, gosh, I don't want to do this. I'll put it here. Let's take five. This is going to be one, <clears throat> two, three, uh, four, 
And then right over here, number five. So number two is a big yes card, the sun, the signifier. The challenge to that then is going to be this five of pentacles. Five of pentacles is typically being felt uh, left out in the cold uh, without some help. But in this five of pentacles, in this more generous deck, uh, we see someone who is has is feeling certainly blinded or trapped, but they're getting a little helping hand from a chair right out of the out of the, the sky here. They don't can't really see who's helping them out. So this uh, big uh, bright uh, signifier here is challenged by someone feeling a little left out actually, and uh, and with a little help. <clears throat> so sometimes the attention that we're receiving maybe we don't feel we deserve, or maybe it's past being being shown to us. In the basis of this, we've got the five, six, seven, eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles is really having honed your craft. You know, practice this thing until you got it just right. You're able to display everything that you've done, and anyone can see that you're someone who knows what they want. This merchant has his door open, he's got his wares hung on the door, it's shown to the outside, and he's just waiting here with even more, even maybe a better one to offer uh, uh, from these. So this very it's a very solid base of a lot of value. Um, and then in the past of this reading is the Nine of Swords. And uh, the Nine of Swords is really just a nightmare, just the worst of things that could happen. You can see it's a dark night here. This person is really, um, you know, has a load to carry with all of these truths, all these justices. So it may be a very noble cause that they're carrying that for, but it still doesn't make it any less heavy of a load. And in the sky in this reading, we've got the four of swords, which is telling this fellow, look, you need to stop right here. Don't even try to come through that gate until you've taken a minute to survey the landscape and make uh, a good determination of what you're going to do next. So even though we've got a sunshiny uh, outcome here in this uh, signifier card, doesn't mean we shouldn't use caution in making this decision. And then the final outcome is the five of wands. And the five of wands is typically sort of a pointless uh, battle uh, between people. But in here, it's showing us that this fellow is on stormy seas. He's carrying, uh, you know, making off with all these plans, all these actions, all these uh, ideas um, into the future. So, you know, that's a good and a bad card. It's It does show the difficulty, but still for a very good cause, you know, carrying all these ideas, all these plans, all these actions into uh, somewhere else where maybe they'll be used. So just to recap quickly, the uh, signifier is a sun, bright, shiny, uh, sunshiny uh, experience uh, challenged by you know feeling like you need a little help but, but it's there for you having a base of really great knowledge and, and proud of your your value and then um, whatever happened was was a heartbreak it was really a difficult situation it was a nightmare and so the idea is just to take your time before you step forward uh, these are truths and justice that are blocking you here saying Take a minute and see what's going on. And then getting those plans, those actions, those ideas moving uh, isn't always easy, but uh, it can be done. And we know that there's a, a, a good use at the end of the journey. So that's what I get if that was your card. Now, for the final card, if you chose this one, that's the lover. So that's partnerships. That can be actual uh, lovers. It can be relationships. Um, but it can be just ideas, um, so something that moves your cause forward, okay? And in a meaningful uh, uh, way that's, um, that is welcomed, okay? I'm going to keep that card since it came out, and then we'll just take five, four more from here. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so number three was the one you chose. Gosh. And this is what we've got as a challenge to those partnerships, those uh, perfect unions, okay? Now, that's going to be the King of Wands. So the King of Wands, you know, wands are action, motion, power, ideas, um, thoughts. And uh, so this King is just about to put a move on getting this into uh, action. Okay, so the King is definitely in charge of of uh, what's going to happen. So these partnerships is challenged by someone wanting to take more of a lead than another one, it seems. And the base of this reading is the King of Swords. So maybe this is the other one who's saying, well, listen, let's lean on some truths, let's lean on some rules, some justice, before we just uh, rush off and uh, initiate this plan, perhaps. And the past of this reading is the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is really coming from a place of, you know, a lot of emotional wealth and health, actually. And so, um, that at least started off in a in a good way 
And then the sky in this reading is the Ace of Wands, which is saying, yeah, there's going to be a big action. There's a plan. There's something that's going to happen. It's uh, almost angelically inspired. doesn't mean it's not going to be messy, as we can see here. But, uh, yeah, this is meant to be. And then the final outcome of that, the Wheel of Fortune. You know, anytime you start on a new journey, it's, you know, it's a crapshoot. Uh, but the Wheel of Fortune, for me, is generally turning in a positive direction. It's an offer of a chance on the wheel. And then this Wheel of Fortune, we see everything that we need. We see the wands, we see the cups, we see the swords, we see the pentacles. And uh, the devil is way down here on the bottom. It doesn't even look very effective. This angel is really uh, looking over what's going to happen with this Wheel of Fortune. So that's a nice uh, end to that final yes card that we have. So, that were the three choices today. Seven of Wands, plans, big yes, the sun, couldn't get any brighter, and the lovers, finding the right partnerships and making it happen. All good cards. Okay, so we took some time for ourselves. I hope that you got something good uh, out of those three cards, uh, and um, at least you took a minute to sit down and only think about you. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.